Happy Saturday morning, everybody, and welcome to the All Things Gingerbread Hop. You've probably come here from Tina, who's Tell Him Thank You, or one of the other people that are hopping with us today, but we want to welcome you all in to the All Things Gingerbread Hop. Um, this paper just shows the different people that are hopping, and I want to say hello to Tina and Betty, Christina, Felicia, Ginger. I'm so excited that everybody has gingerbread projects to share. You know gingers just warm my heart. Every time I see a gingerbread project, I always smile. Um, I just think they're very heartwarming. So I hope you guys will be inspired today. Hop along with us. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Everybody's giving away a prize. My prize is you get to choose one file from Arala Miha shop if you're the winner from my channel. So be sure to leave a comment and let me know what of, which of my projects inspired you. And um, we will see who ends up being the winner. And I want to thank Betty of Arala Miha shop for sponsoring my prize again. She sponsored me for the mason jar hop too. So I really appreciate it. I'm also... Um, doing some guest design work for her for the month of November, so I will be sharing some of the projects that I made do contain um, digital files from her wonderful shop. So here we go, you guys. My first project are these sweet hot cocoa tags. And I wanna give a shout out to my friend Pam. She sent me this sweet die from Frantic Stamper. It's a little um, hot cocoa cup and it comes with marshmallows and a little um, candy cane. And I had the idea of actually making the cocoa cup to be a gingerbread face. So that is what I did. And I also um, added a sentiment from a, a Darcy stamp set. I love their stamps. And it says, Happy Cookies and Cocoa Season. And I thought that was just perfect for this tag. So I made three of these. Um, you can see this one has a little um, round peppermint and some uh, rusty jingle bells whereas this one has red jingle bells and uh, this one has a candy cane and rusty jingle bells so I'm not showing them very well but they all turned out so sweet and I just think it's a really cute little tag and then you could also do a reindeer or a snowman so I was kind of playing around with that idea too but um, I definitely love how the gingers turned out so that was my first project um, then I was inspired by Muriel to make some gingerbread crackers and inside these are some peppermint candies that my family members just love. And I found this really sweet gingerbread paper in my stash. It's a very old Heidi Grace paper and it's actually got like felt, the feel of felt or velvet on it. So I made two of these and I was inspired by Muriel to add some of this trim at the end of the cracker. And this is a Spellbinders die that I used. So I have this one where the gingers are going this way. And then on the next one, I did it so that the gingerbreads are this way. So I just thought these turned out so cute and Muriel had sent me one of these for Halloween and um, I had gotten a die a long time ago for like 70% off. Um, on a Spellbinder sale and um, I hadn't uh, used it yet so she inspired me to take it out and put it to use. So I made those two which are um, that really cute gingerbread paper and then I found this paper in my stash also that has little gingerbread houses and gingerbread cookies on it. So I made two like this with gold tinsel trim as the ties. And the gingerbread men, this one is a lawn fawn ginger that I um, just kind of decorated up. And then this one is the Stampin' Up! gingerbread punch again. So just really simple and sweet. These have candy in them and they're going to go to my nieces and nephews at Christmas. So I did a couple in red. These ones are for the girls. And uh, they just turned out so cute. I love polka dot paper. So I just think these are so sweet. I love that gingham ribbon. This is from Hobby Lobby. And then uh, this one actually has a little um, tie that is made with some fabric. So this turned out so sweet. And then I have one more. And this one's um, a green paper that has sleds on it actually. And then it has a little ginger on top wearing a plaid scarf that matches the fabric bows. 
So there's that one. And then I was also working on some packaging um, for some bags. I have a couple plain craft bags that I wanted to decorate. So I created these little um, gingerbread, uh, I want to say pinwheels, but that's not the right word. Um, anyway, I folded these, um, I can't remember what die I used to do this, but um, I used a couple different dies that I've had in my stash for years. This snowflake is from Paper Tray Ink and it's called Fancy Flakes. This again is that Stampin' Up Punch. Um, both of these are that Stampin' Up Punch. Okay, just decorated in different ways. So, um, and then this one I added greens to and, and I used an Alina Cuddle die um, right here and then just different greens dies that I have in my stash. So I just added some greenery. This one I kept a little more s simple because I really wanted that vellum um, to show, the vellum uh, pinwheel in the back here. And pinwheel's not the right word, you guys, but you know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Friday night when I'm filming this and I've had a long day and I'm tired. So stuff is not always going to come to me. Um, so here's one last one. This is actually just what I call a package topper. So you would just put this on top of a small box and then add a tag to it, um, your to from tag. So this is what I just call a package or box topper. So again, this is the Stampin' Up! Punch, uh, which was on clearance in their clearance area. I don't know if it still is, but I just got it a few weeks back and I've been using it all the time. So this has just turned out really, really sweet, I think. I just, I love doing these, um, these little uh, bag toppers and different things to decorate packages at Christmas. Then I made a single tag. This is a, a stocking tag from a, a Biggs die. And I used some red velvet ribbon, a Merry and Bright tag from Lily of the Valley. The, um, you can get these digitally on Etsy, but um, they're, they're no longer selling the stamps anymore, as far as I know. So you, you can only buy it digitally unless you find a set on eBay or something. Um, but I just added a bunch of different greenery behind this, and I used a Tim Holtz set of greens that I really like that has this like little holly piece with the berries. And then that's that candy cane from the Frantic Stamper die again. So this turned out really sweet, I think. And I just, I just add another clean tag to the back after I get everything put into the stocking. So really sweet. I love vel red velvet ribbon on projects. I just think it's so fun. And then I was at Michael's, um, I don't know, about a, a month or so ago. And, uh, I didn't buy much of anything. I bought one pad of paper and I bought this. <laughs> and I bought this, number one, I think it would be cute with a photo in it because of course it's a gingerbread and I love that. But I just thought it was a really nice size gingerbread and I don't have a Cricut or an electronic cutter so it's not, you know, I don't have a way to just make a gingerbread and have the machine cut it. But I traced around it and I made myself a giant gingerbread tag. And I just think this turned out so cute. I just hand traced around it on heavyweight cardstock twice, glued it together so that there's a front and back. And uh, I added um, some buttons that are um, have twine tied through them in a bow. And then he has a bow tie on and I tied the bow tie around his neck. I added that Happy Cookies and Cocoa Season stamp from Darcy again. And I just hand drew this face with a brown Copic marker and a white gel pen and then a pink Copic marker for the cheeks. So that's just me doodling. <laughs> but I do think it turned out cute and I used a white gel pen to fill all this in and then after it was dry, I added stickles over the top so that it does sparkle. And then I just edge the whole thing in white gel pen. So I, I think this is fun for a big package. Like if you need to give, you know, a Santa gift or something, a big package um, that you want to wrap or that you need a tag for. I just thought this would be perfect for that. And there's room to write on the back. Um, or you could put the child's name like along the um, foot here and I was inspired by a video actually on YouTube and I don't have the person's name in front of me right now but I'm going to link the video that inspired me because she used her Cricut to make a giant ginger and to decorate a bag and it was such a cute idea so that was what inspired me um, 
uh, I had already bought this and I had the idea, but I, I watched her channel and it reminded me that I should go ahead and do it. So I, I took this out from my Christmas stuff and uh, I went ahead and just hand did it. So I just thought that that was kind of fun. And that those are all kind of my off the page projects. So I'm gonna set these aside really quick. And then the last thing I have to share are some cards that I made. So I couldn't do a gingerbread hop without having a few Christmas cards. So I'm gonna go through these really quick. I'll be posting everything to Instagram with information on products used. Um, but certainly in the comments below this video, if you have any questions about any of these cards and what was used, please leave me a comment and I will definitely try to respond. It might take me a few days, but I will respond. So this card, um, my idea was to make a bakery box uh, of gingerbread men. So it's, the idea is, is that this is a bakery box and the cookies are inside. So you can see that I added acetate to the window. I didn't put any shaker bits in because it's supposed to be a bakery box. And uh, so I, I wanted it to kind of be authentic. And uh, so that's what I did. And then I just used some Mama Elephant Snowflake, some little gumdrop stickers that I got at Fred Meyer, and uh, some little fronds that I had cut. Um, and I just thought this little bakery box turned out so cute. And then uh, you guys have already seen this project from yesterday, but I think this is definitely one of my favorite projects, um, favorite Christmas cards this year, because I just love anything to do with angels. So I already shared this one in my previous video, um, but I wanted to show it again. And again, this background, this paper here is the Camilla background from Irala Miha shop. So that's Betty's shop. Then here's another one. Now, I have to tell you, I absolutely adore these gingerbreads. This is the Tim Holtz die. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. I think it's two seasons old now. I think it was last year's release, not this year. Um, but I just love this die. And at first I wasn't too sure when I first saw it, but then I just kept looking at it and looking at it. And I, I loved the idea of doing two layer gingerbreads. And so I started playing around with it and I have like, I, I'm not kidding you guys, I have so many things I could show you, but they're not all done yet. <laughs> so I'm only showing you what I have finished tonight. But um, Tim, you did a fantastic job designing this die and I absolutely adore it. And I just, I really love um, how it turns out when you when you just decorate it up and uh, make them look so cute. So I'm I'm very excited about this die. Um, this Merry Gingerbread Season is a gingerbread sentiment printable. It's a Christmas sentiment printable that is in Betty's shop, and I like it because you you just can cut them out and have them all ready. You don't need to stamp them. So that's how I did that card. And then I did two other cards using those sweet gingers because I am in love with them, you guys. And this is a guy and a girl card. And the difference is on this card, you can actually, they're on Velcro, if you can see that. And I've got a tie so that it can hang on your tree. So I call this an ornament card, but basically you can give this in a little gift bag or whatever and then they have the ginger to hang on their tree forevermore if they want to so um this little sending you gingerbread hugs and kisses is a sentiment from my creative time hi emma this emma has an adorable gingerbread set um which i think i used in a video last year or the year before i still have it and i still love it um so i used her sentiment to go with this and then this is her sweet little bow die um, which i demonstrated um, or showed you these bows a while back. So I used this one on a project. This sweet window was created with a die from Honeybee Stamps. And inside I just have some snow and clear sequins. So these are both very, very similar. This one's um, a little more masculine in that I use just a plain, some plain buttons. And, uh, and it has a sentiment that says gingerbread wishes coming your way. So very, very similar. Again, it is a pull-off ornament, so you can take it off and um, put it on the tree. You just remove the Velcro buttons, and uh, it is a shaker. So just really simple. Inside, I use these XOXO, like hugs and kisses, um, layering uh, piece, and this is also from my creative time. 
So um, just really sweet cards. I thought these turned out really nicely. So, um, and I am in love with this Tim Holtz gingerbread. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. I couldn't not do a gingerbread hop without using the Lawn Fawn gingerbreads. So these are the Lawn Fawn ones. And I use that, um, that face stamp from Peachy Keen that I always use. And I also use the Stampin' Up! Punch for the little bows. And um, there's the My Creative Time sentiment again there. And then I just use some greens and holly. I think this is from Tailored Expressions maybe, or it might be a different one. I have a lot of different hollies. And then I just added a button and this is the Tim Holtz teacup. So you guys have seen me do lots of things with the Tim Holtz teacup. And uh, I just embossed it with the Tailored Expressions Winter Flurry embossing folder. So this one's a little more rustic and simple, and I love the way this one turned out too. So really sweet. And then I have another one using the Tim Holtz Gingers. I hope you're not getting tired of them. This one's a lot more sparkly, and it has um, a lot of greenery around them and some little gems, if you can see, for berries. So there's little gems um, with the greenery in all three sections of this card. And I just think it turned out so sweet. Oh my goodness. These gingers just make you smile. And then I have one last card to share. And uh, this one uses the Stampin' Up! Uh, gingerbread punch again. And it comes with the little hearts in there. And I just added white dots for buttons. And uh, I add a little bit of detail to the bow with a white gel pen. This one is a shaker. There is some snow and little um, gems and stuff in there from Pretty Pink Posh. The snow, I think, was some snow I had uh, from a kit from Paper Tray Ink years ago. And then this uh, Gingerbread Kisses is from Irala Miha Shop on Etsy from that printable I was telling you about. And then all the, the frond work and everything, um, just different things I've had in my stash. And then this one is from Alina Cuddle, the one with the little round balls. So um, this just turned out so sweet. And I really enjoy using the buttons to accent the cards at Christmas, especially when I know I'm going to be giving it to a family member so I don't have to mail it through the mail. So um, again, I use that XO um, My Creative Time liner for the card. So just some really sweet gingerbread cards, um, lots of little gingerbread tags, um, all sorts of fun things uh, for this wonderful, wonderful gingerbread hop. I hope you guys have enjoyed my video and seeing all the different things that were created. And I hope to um, read your comments as the day and the days go by. And I will be drawing my winner um, after Thanksgiving, probably the first week of December. Um, so whoever wins the printable, I will pull the name and post a video sometime during the first week of December. That gives everybody plenty of time to watch all the videos and comment and enjoy all of this wonderful, wonderful gingerbread goodness. So I wish you all a very, very happy Thanksgiving. If I don't post any more videos be between now and then, I just want to wish you all a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy time with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones. And uh, we just thank, thank, are so thankful for all of our blessings. And you who share crafty time with me are part of the blessings in my life. So um, God bless us, everyone, and enjoy the hop. Bye now.